Yes, we're back here in 311 First Wave. I told you guys I'd check it out. Really cool, just from the start. We're seeing like all the audio that we uh, saw from the leaks that I gave you guys um, about the elections. I'm not quite sure exactly if we have the say. Like we we had a lot of information about this before. I can't remember if we in fact get to vote for the person that we want to lead. I think somewhere there's info on that. If you guys know, put it down in the comments below. I will be going to check out the cargo decks. What I think of them as far as like the outside and the inside of them. Whether they have functionality or not. Uh, we're just going to check them out. So let's get off this uh, hunk of ice right now here. Uh, it, it's It's a pleasure to hop in. Like, I, I love the ability to, to get into the first wave and just really get a hands-on feel of it. Um, I have had issues. Obviously, when you get into the PTU initially, there's always issues. Everybody's trying to jump in at the same time. Server issues, 30Ks, random deaths on this patch. So that's that kind of bugged me a little bit, pun intended. Here's the cargo decks from the outside as I approach. Getting very excited. Because at this point in time, I think it took me about an hour and a half <laughs> to get here. But um, I'm going to shut up now so you guys can get the immensity of the cargo decks. If we think they're big enough, you know, you got to keep in mind that we're going to be having the whole sh uh, class ships uh, coming here. So it's got to be believable. These cargo decks got to be large enough to convince many a trader and industrial player that they can handle multiple shipments from Paul from uh, an or Orion, these types of shifts. So let's let's check them out now while we put the music on. Or maybe a little bit more of these on the station. It looks like maybe there is room at the end there on the bottom portion of the station to add more. Something I'd like to see be dynamic based upon actual cargo. I was really happy to see that we have uh, landing pad numbers now. I was, that's definitely an improvement. Thank God for that. Don't know why that took so long to get in here. In the station, not not much different. The Galleria and and the food court area, other than like tables added um, in the main hall. But this elevator separates these areas now. We go to here and let's go to what we really want to see: the new cargo decks. And I have to say, I was I was excited. So I'm just going to shut up right now so you guys can get the whole atmospheric sound that's going on.
Jack left needed at cold storage. Jack left to cold storage. Cargo services and inside here you had a logistics area, a rental area, you had a supplies area, and you had the guild area. So I wanted to just go up to these different areas, see what we could see. The rentals has a screen, so I said, okay, let's see what types of ships they're offering here, and was disappointed. I think we need a little bit more in terms of ships available. That we can rent. So obviously, as I started to walk around and realized that there was no functionality with any of this, no missions, no anything, I started to get slightly disappointed. I started to realize this is not going to be in 3.11. Right now, what we have as a placeholder, and I had to take a breath, and I had to smile, and then I'm like, okay, well, what's at the kiosks here? And uh, we're in the PTU first wave again. Let's make that clear. <laughs> but we had slight issues with loading uh, items. I couldn't tell if like there were new items in the in the kiosk for the clothing. But that's not that big an issue for me. I'm not too worried about the clothing. But um, so no functionality. Bummer. But I'd like you guys to discuss what you think about this, the, the, the physical size from the the outside size from the from the inside what you guys feel about it in general i'm looking forward to the gameplay i'm looking forward to one day being able to store all my commodities and assets here in the cargo deck areas i think personally uh, this is something that can be evolved upon this is obviously version one of cargo decks and I think that there's a lot of room now that we have this here to grow. And that, that generally is the frustration in Star Citizen. Is It's like, okay, we see this, now what's next? And really we have to just appreciate the fact that this is here now and hope for progress to happen pretty quickly. Because I'm looking forward to Quantum. I'm looking forward to the more deeper economic gameplay. And really, it's not here now. So... You know, take the take the good with the bad. Personally, I think that um, most of us are looking forward to, you know, some type of ability to take these commodities and then use uh, your Mo Trader to trade commodities with other players and use that to make deals and trade credits with one another. And uh, overall, you know, seeing all of this here now makes me at least know that we're heading in that direction so overall you know it's kind of a mixed bag but hey that's like that's kind of star citizen right <laughs> thanks everybody i hope you enjoyed this inside look at all the new places to go i will continue to make content on um, other aspects of 3.11 and what i think about them and uh, we are having a giveaway, so I, I want to just thank Invictus a Praetorian for offering this community the ability for a twin pack, Talon twin pack. One is the Talon, the other is a Shrike. You can just become a patron or a YouTube member by pushing join to get involved in uh, monthly giveaways here on the channel. Thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you on the next vid or stream. I didn't even get to go. Oh.